Namaste. Today's video is going to be on binds. And uh, in, in yoga, uh, different than most other times, it's actually good to be in a bind. And I'm going to explain why and what are binds. So binds are something kind of unique to yoga. Um, <clears throat> there's many, many types of binds. And uh, you, you've probably, if you practice yoga, you've, you've done some before. One typical bind is this pose called Marichasana. Here's one way to get into Marichasana, okay? So my right leg is bent. I have a, a fist width of distance between the foot and the inner thigh. I'm going to reach up, inhale up, reach forward and reach around, see how the, what this arm is doing and how the hand is going like this, reaching around and I'm gonna grab my fingers. It might be, some people have it, you know, it's challenging to even get the fingers or you could even go for your wrist and maybe even touch, if you're grabbing your wrist, touch your thumb to your middle finger. And if you get that, you could even go higher in your arm and then here's one thing you could do. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, leading down with your chin, down toward your shin. In Ashtanga Yoga, and notice my foot is flexed here. This foot is flexed, this leg is actively engaged. In Ashtanga Yoga, you, you, you gaze towards your foot, towards your big toe, or you could you could do this. Okay, so this is one uh, example of, of a bind in here. And then you would do the other side, of course, right? Same thing on the other side. That's a very simple bind. It's called Marichasana. It's named after a sage, Marichi. Marichasana is the name of the pose. And Marichi is the, is the sage. Uh, here are some other binds. Some of these you, you may or may not have seen before. Uh, one well-known one is here you are in this, the side angle stretch or here or here, right? And, and you have this, this pose. This is a, another bind, right? From here, you could go into uh, Bird of Paradise, which would be this stepping forward and lifting this leg up. And then you might come, try to come back just the way that you came into it, right? And then you might like move through a vinyasa, right? So that's another, another bind, this one, right? Here's another, here's another bind you could do Marichasana, standing. This is one of my favorite standing balancing poses. Here you are. Remember what we did when we were sitting. So it's the same idea. Gotta get my balance here, okay? Here, reach around, grab your fingers or grab your wrist. Try to, try to come a little straighter. Okay, and then you, and then you release and you try to Put your foot down exactly where you want to place it. We call that the graceful exit out of the pose. And then you do the other side, of course. Keep it balanced. And remember that um, you, if you're weaker on one side, you might want to start on that side that's weaker. Okay. Uh, there's many other binds. Here, here's another great one. You're here in a forward bend, okay? What you're gonna do is keep, let's say the right leg straight, bend the left leg, reach between your legs and under that left knee. And this is a really nice little stretch right here. And of course, then you would do it on the other side as well. You could do it on the other side. Okay, that's another bind. I'll give you one more, 
Well, maybe two more binds. One, two more. Now, you, you, everyone knows this pose. This is, in yoga, this is called malasana or garland pose. Okay? Uh, now, there's, there's a, another possible, there's many, there's always many variations for every pose. For this pose, what you could do, try to bring your feet together. See if you can get your feet together without falling backwards. Now, some people, very few people, I, I would say, are actually able to do that. And many people struggle with even doing this, you know, and that's why you can tell them to open their feet wider if they're having trouble getting their heels down. So a lot of people might, you know, you see a lot of people like this, they have a hard time getting their heels down, so they need to open. But if you are more open, like in your hips, for example, maybe bring your feet together, and then you could try this bind, reaching around, reaching for your fingers, or maybe even your wrist. Okay, two more quick binds. That's one. Another one, this is from, this is uh, definitely a more advanced pose. It's like, almost like a circus pose. You're here in like a standing forward bend and you take your arms under and you reach behind. Very similar to the pose we just did. Okay, baby's crying. All right. Last pose, either here with your knee down, this is easier, or with your, with your knee off the ground, a little bit more challenging, there's this bind here. Sometimes this one is called the prayer twist, right? Prayer twist, and then you're gonna, you're gonna reach one arm behind your back, the other arm under, clasping your fingers or even your wrist, and then possibly looking over your shoulder, back toward the wall behind you. Now, why is this good? It helps you to open a little bit more. Feels really good, and it, and it just helps you to, gives you a little leverage to open and get more of a twist, get more of a stretch. Okay, so there's so many binds. Just, here's just one more, <laughs> one more. There's this pose, right? Everyone knows this one. It's an old favorite, Ardham uh, Matsyandrasana. Now, you could do it like this. You could do it like this. This leg could be bent, like so. Notice how I'm holding this foot. That's one possibility. But another possibility is a bind. Take this arm under, the other arm behind, reach the for the fingers or even the wrist, Inhale, lift the neck and exhale, turn and twist. Okay, so that's just a little, very brief little introduction to the, the glory that is binds, yoga binds. And like I said, it's, it's, it's actually, as far as yoga goes, it's good to be in a bind. Thanks for watching and namaste.